Hello everyone, you're welcome to this week's edition of the Ultimate Money Show. My name is Lola De Akimurile, the Deputy Editor at Business Day. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the implication of the recent interest rate hike by the Central Bank of Nigeria on the stock market. Um, of course, I'm sure that uh, by now we're familiar with the concept that whenever interest rates go up, um, this stock market tends to, to go down. And that's simple, for a simple reason, because uh, the cost of borrowing for businesses increases, which increases their expenses. And then, um, by extension, impacts their profitability, their bottom line, and then investor sentiments might not be as strong as they would be if the company is in an era of uh, growing profitability. You know, That's not to say that if interest rates are rising, that uh, companies declare um, lower profits. But what we're saying is it does have a negative impact on their profit. But if they're able to grow revenue faster than their cost of production, then there'll be no need to worry. And that's the point I want us to take away from today. The fact that despite the expected slowdown in the stock market as a result of the interest rate hike, there are going to be, there's still going to be a number of companies that would, that have the potential to grow their revenue by a faster margin than the costs that they would incur as a result of the higher interest rate. So it's important for you to look out for those stocks if you really want to um, make money off the stock market this year, next year. Personally, I like to take a long-term view. Not, I don't do short-term investing. I, I advise you to do the same. You know, stay in a position, stay in a stock for, for the long haul. That's when you really reap the full gains, especially if it's a dividend-paying stock where you can just sit back, relax, and get your dividends uh, maybe every six months or every year. And then, of course, if you want to sell some of that, you can sell it for a very good market valuation. So my point here really is that despite the um, downturn that is expected from the interest rate hike, there are still some very good stocks that you can still invest in and not be worried too much about whether the rate hike will erode your returns. Because there are some companies that have that possibility to grow revenues even faster than um, others. So it's important to look out for those kind of companies. You need to study them. There's no hard, there's no easy work here. You need to study those companies. You start from the big 30. Look at them. What new products are they coming up with? Innovative products. How are they positioning to earn more revenue in the next couple of quarters? These are the questions you need to answer. And if these answers are given, then it'll be easy for you to make a decision of which stock to buy despite um, the rising interest rate environment that we find ourselves now. Because a lot of investors typically will just prefer to go to fixed income assets because interest rates are rising you know, and they are safer assets to invest in. But there are still opportunities in the stock market if you look at companies that have the potential to declare even more robust revenues in the long run. So as interest rates are going up, um, it's important for you to look for a stock that has the potential to grow revenues faster than cost of operations as the first point. Second point is important for you to look for a company that is underpriced compared to peers. So you're looking at ratios like um, price to book ratio, for instance, if it's, a, if it's a bank, or price to earnings ratio, if it's um, a fast moving consumer goods company. So you look at that, those ratios to ensure that you are buying that stock at a price that is relatively cheaper to peers in Nigeria and even outside Nigeria. Three is that you're also looking out for companies, stocks that can actually benefit from the interest rate hike, like the banks, for instance can actually benefit from the interest rate hike because it gives them an opportunity to price their loan assets even higher, you know, and then, of course, if the interest rates are going up and then the yields on government securities are also rising, the banks who typically invest a lot in federal government securities can also invest in that and make some returns. So those are the three key points you need to note to ensure that you succeed as an investor in the stock market despite what is happening with rising interest rates. Thank you. Um, I'm Lauradi Akimurili. I'm signing out. Hey!